Well, guess what just arrived? The first of two Rad Mini bikes. This one is mine. Cindy's is still on the way. Mine is the Rad Mini, and hers is the Rad Mini Step Through model. And we just got the box. Uh, I have a knife and a box. We're going to open this up, see what we've got, and see what it's going to take to put this thing together. Looking promising. Okay, let's take a look at what's in the, this little box here. Some kind of Velcro thing, owner's manual uh, thing. <laughs> uh, this is zip tied. This looks like this might be the little computer uh, toolkit, pedals, and looks like this is the charger cable for the battery. Okay, it's gotten crazy windy outside, and so we moved in. Uh, to try to get out of that whistling wind. Um, I have not started any assembly. This is the bike just as it was right out of the box. Uh, I have taken some time to gather my tools and unpack the stuff that was in this small box. So what came with the bike was the tool kit, the strap, the charger, the pedals, the headlight, and the owner's manual. Um, we had to go out actually and pick up a torque wrench from the local bike store. I had a torque wrench that was a really big one and just not suitable for work um, on the assembly of this bike. So I picked up this little torque wrench kit. It was a little expensive, I have to admit. Uh, this was right at $100, but it came with kind of a fine uh, control torque wrench and all of the bits that I need. I think I'm gonna use this quite a bit over the years. It'll certainly last forever, but I did have to go pick up one of those. Um, I also had to go pick up a pedal wrench because that's required for assembly. I did not have one, and so I picked that up. Uh, this was very inexpensive. I think this was just maybe, uh, I don't know, six, eight bucks, something like that. Uh, I have some uh, polyurethane grease. This is from the bike store, so this is my bicycle grease. And I also grabbed a couple of tools, um, a knife and a snip so I can take off all of these zip ties and I have my bike pump. So I did take time to kind of gather all of my supplies. Uh, I have the, the video here from the Rad Power Bikes website. This video is not, my video I should say, is not intended to replace the awesome assembly video that they have on their website. The purpose of this video is for me to show you what an average person has to go through to put this together and give you our first impressions of the bike. So far, the packing was well done. I was impressed with the quality and the heftiness of the box. Everything was nice and clear, uh, and the bike arrived in perfect shape. And now let's see what it takes to put together. So here we go. Let's watch the video, and we'll kind of take this step at a time. Okay, so this is asking me to lift up this handlebar mechanism. It's strapped in, so I'm going to take off this latch and let's see if we can get this up in place. All right, let's see what we have here now. Lifting this up into place and it says to latch this mechanism. Let me just show that snapping in and there it goes. It snapped in. Okay, easier than I thought. All right, let's see what's next. Okay, so they said 15 newton meters down below and 10 up top. I'm gonna to rewind this a touch. So now I need that new torque wrench. This was the six. We are up to 15 and that's good. And this is on. Okay, and that's clicking, so that's all good to go. And they said this upper one should be at, at 10. So let me adjust this to 10. What I do on this little thing is I pull this out and I'm looking at this little screen right here to get this to 10. So there we are at 10. Checking that. All right, let's see if that's the same bit size and it is. It is not, this is too big. So now I'm gonna go back down to the five. Let's try that. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. Just on the other side. Okay, so far so good. So I think the steering column is good to go. On the video, they already have all of this stuff off the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo all these goodies. All right, starting to look like a bike. Let's see what's next. All right, so they were just making sure that this middle part is secured and it was shift secured. So all of that looks good to me. And that is the folding mechanism is latched and tight. So that's good. They're getting some instructions on the white step through model, which we don't have yet. We have one on the way. Okay, so they're saying take off the, the little um, axle basically off of this front wheel. So I'm gonna pop that off. It's a little tricky. I may need to get my knife. This is what they were talking about. And there are two different springs that are loose on here, but this will be the axle. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna need to get this wheel off of here and get all of this um, undone. So let's see what we have to do for that. Easy enough. I still have a kickstand down. This is at least standing up on the fork, so I think that's all okay. I just want to be careful not to knock it over, but so far so good. Boy, what a, look at this thing. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Okay, so they were describing that we need to take this end off, and then one of these springs, and then they threaded it through the disc brake side first. So that's gonna go in, and then my cone, whoops, I knew I would do that. My little spring is gonna go on, followed by the nut. All right, so there we go. I don't know how much to tighten it, it didn't say, but that at least looks like that is all suitable and good to go. Okay, simple enough. So now I'm gonna take the packing material off the front forks and then I'm gonna put uh, the front tire in place. So let's see if that's difficult or easy. Ah, there we go. It finally clipped into place. They said to push it down hard enough that it actually would leave a little imprint in your hand, and it certainly did. If anything, I have it one notch too tight, I would think. Okay. It's turning. I'm feeling some resistance. On the video, it talked about an adjustment because it just means that the caliper is squeezing on that disc brake just a little bit. So I'm going to need to make uh, a couple of adjustments there. It's working well enough right now. I'm gonna leave it alone and finish the rest of the assembly, but that'll definitely be something I need to go back and adjust. This is the disc brake here, and the caliper is just squeezing on that just a little bit, and so it's rubbing, and that's what's keeping the wheel uh, from rotating freely. Just a little bit, a little bit too tight, and that might loosen up anyway as we get, get going. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, so we're moving on to the pedals. I'm gonna go ahead and take all the rest of the packing off and then we'll uh, actually get to the pedals. Keys. Okay, let's see if you can See this or not, these are the grooves that they're talking about right here. These grooves as compared with this one, which is smooth. So this has a smooth side here and th these have the little grooves. And so this one is the left pedal. And that's what we're gonna start with. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that grease on this pedal. I don't think it's gonna take very much because it will get kind of smeared on there as we go. Okay, so here's the left pedal. That one is done. 
Okay, so they were putting that on counterclockwise. So I'm putting this on here and threading that on there. Ah, there it finally grabbed. I'm gonna just do this finger tight until it won't go and then I'll use my pedal wrench. One down. So that one was counterclockwise. This one will go on clockwise. It was a little tricky getting the left one to find just the right spot to go on. I finally feel like it grabbed, which it did. Having the right tool for the job definitely helps. I didn't over tighten, but I gave it a pretty good amount of pressure. So I believe that we're finished with the pedals. And now back to the video. They're describing how to fold these pedals for storage. They're saying you push it in and fold it, so let's give that a shot, pushing it in toward the bike. So there you go. Takes up a little less room, and then to put it back, there we go. Pretty easy. Okay, next is the seat post, and we'll need just a little bit more of this grease. Minimum insertion point right here. So I just kind of want to put some grease on this lower part. And if anybody needs more grease, I have a whole tube of it. <laughs> I have more than what I need for sure. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on both sides. So here's what I did here. Just a little bit of that grease. I don't know yet how high I'm going to need the seat. I guess I could hop on here and just give it a quick try. And I think that's gonna be a pretty decent uh, spot to try just to get it started. The video talked about making sure that the seat is in at least to the minimum insertion point. I can see that line poking out just a little bit. So just to be safe, I'm gonna drop that down so that that line is right on because since I'm tall, I need as much of that seat height as I can get. And so I'm gonna go all the way to the highest allowable point, and then we'll go with that. Okay, next up is the headlight right here, and that will go on the very front of the bike. You will take this part off, and they said leave one, there are two washers on here. It said to leave one of those washers on, pass it through the headlight assembly. Put the other washer on the back, and then the locking nut. That's gonna obviously need to get locked down, so let's get some tools. Okay, so this is supposed to go to something. I don't know if there's a cord. I'm not looking. Oh, I found the little connector right here. So they're saying that these two things will need to be connected and lined up. Headlight is plugged in. Okay, we are getting right down to the end. It's time to air up the tires. 18 to 22 pounds. I'll, I'll meet in the middle of that and I'll call it 20 pounds. Well, setup is all finished. It probably took me 35 minutes, maybe 40 minutes total uh, to do it. Nothing was particularly difficult. I would not consider myself at all a bike uh, mechanic. So I was just working my way through by watching the video. I'm glad that so much of the bike was already put together. I didn't have to do anything regarding gears or chains, or it was just mostly just putting the different elements together um, and it was very easy. So now it's a matter of just checking a few of the connections, reading my owner's manual so I know what to do with the computer and the battery, and then let's take it outside and, and give it a whirl. 
We've had our ad minis for almost a month and we are really enjoying them. We have had a chance to get out and go for some rides. We're really looking forward to the spring and the summer whenever we can really extend our trips and find some new places. Originally, I was a little nervous to order a bike online that I would have to assemble, but the whole unboxing process was very easy. I would recommend it for anyone. When Cindy's bike came in, it went even faster, probably 30 minutes, no problems at all. We're loving them. We, would, we really hope that you subscribe to our channel so that you can see our adventures in the future. Uh, we're gonna be highlighting some of the things that we're doing with the bikes. For example, we are uh, adding a dog trailer to the back of our bike, and we also wanna show um, the, uh, the process of folding them up and storing them in a tub and putting them underneath our RV. So stay tuned for future videos. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you soon.